I'm Darth Paradigm. Taking a page out of the uh, playbook from uh, Mid Ohio Jedi Order and decided to to do this review outside in the in the beautiful weather. It's hot, damn hot. Tarzan couldn't stand this kind of hot. It's really hot, but it's okay for a review. Uh, so what I have here is a hilt from Aegis Sabers. It's called the Hydra Version One. This uh, arbitrary name, and uh, this thing costs. I think just a tick over a hundred bucks worth every penny and uh, it comes with the standard uh, eco smooth swing um, um, core as it were nine nine fonts uh, the uh, hybrid smooth swing you name it um, yeah so this is all pretty much one piece it's just kind of anodized in the middle and you'll see that the core is a little bit different it doesn't have the screw here and here you just got your uh, backlit switch, you have your uh, recharge uh, thing you do there, and then there's a couple screws on the back, which kind of hold everything together. This is very nice. Uh, so I imagine if you wanted to take this apart, you'd have to kind of take out these screws, take off the uh, pommel, and uh, just slide that thing out. Yeah. And uh, it's got a pretty decent little bass speaker. It's, it's nice and loud, a lot crisper than, uh, than uh, the speakers were in the uh, ages past. Uh, it's got the uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin little um, uh, biblical passage thing you do there. I'm not a religious person at all, so I don't remember what that means. Someone had told me, but it's kind of whatever. Um, the uh, blade is held in with two blade retention screws on each side and this just kind of screws in I don't want to unscrew the thing because I it, it's in there tight and it hasn't been an issue is isn't, isn't jiggering it's not coming loose it's not like working its way out so I just kind of it's in there I'm gonna keep it in there and uh, and true to form uh, yeah I'm just gonna leave it like that so anyway uh, as you can see uh, it's got like a angled emitter here and it's a little beveled there with a nice little cutaway there Again, uh, it's just a little bit of a, a little bit of a shiny thing, so I apologize if it's blinding you. Um, but a very good finish, very shiny, kind of a fingerprint magnet. This section right here, the handle, very smooth. None of this is sharp like what you find on a uh, Saber Forge hilt, so you don't need to get in there with a Dremel, smooth it out. Now I've actually purchased a Dremel for just such a purpose, specifically for Saber Forge hilts. Um, per the recommendation of Grey Paladin, and uh, then you get your pommel section here. This is the only thing that is a little bit sharp. These uh, these edges are a little bit on the sharp side, so I've caught myself a few times on the uh, on the forearm. <laughs> it does it does move a little bit in there. It's kind of the blade because it's being held kind of like at a pivot point. Blade does move a little bit but it's not in danger of coming out and tightening these screws isn't really going to alleviate that problem. But uh, suffice to say, it's a, it's a wonderful little hilt. It's a, it's a really comfortable thing. Um, it's just spry, agile. You can, you can do the thing two-handed or one-handed, whatever your preference is. It's kind of uh, adaptable. And uh, let's turn this thing on. I've got it set to a uh, pale blue, which you're not gonna be able to see because it's too damn bright out here. And I've been using the uh, Fallen Order sound font. The force is with you, Oops. Skywalker. You are not a Jedi yet. All right, so I guess we're gonna go through the sound fonts. <laughs> I didn't know the thing was on because I couldn't see the back of the switch. This is, this is take two. <laughs> so we'll go through the fonts. You have something I want. <laughs> Where's Skywalker? <sighs> I've been waiting for this day for a long time. You should have a Kenobi. Can't do cool. I'm Cal Kestis. There we go. All right. traffic today.
it's, uh, it's the usual fare from the uh, soundboard with the, uh, you know, all the proclivities that the soundboard has. Let's turn this thing off. Just gotta watch the light go out. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. Now, as far as the cost for this thing, like I said, costs just a just a smidge over a hundred bucks. And uh, as far as this version of this hilt that I've seen, because a lot of the LGT uh, Saber Studio uh, distributors kind of carry the same hilt, this is the least expensive I've seen this hilt. Um, but I, I highly recommend picking it up uh, from him. If you have any comments regarding this thing please hit me up I'll uh, give you uh, give you the deets as much as I can and uh, yeah that pretty much wraps up this video I don't have much to say this is a short thing plus I'm sweating my butt off and uh, I got people uh, riding me to go and uh, do Father's Day stuff which it's about time to do Father's Day stuff so anyway um, not that I'm a father but I have a father <laughs> Anyway, so um, may the force be with you. I'll catch you all in the next video. And um, peace out. You have a good day. And I'll talk to you next time.